What's crack, man, everybody? I'm Growmaster. Welcome back to Atlas. And uh, I am sick right now, and everybody else is sick in my home. So I, this is going to be the longest video, again, because, yeah, again, sick. Trying to take better care of myself. Um, there is some stuff, though, as you can see, that we've done. We are in the polar region. We got two little places of land. Two tiny little places, that's all. <laughs> but uh, it's enough that we can you know get stuff here and there is a lot a lot to get in the polar region i mean just where we're at apparently we got super lucky because there's no yetis apparently yetis are a thing so that's fun but luckily we just are filled with wolves and penguins and it's amazing like i have had literally just nothing but fun in this area to the point that i have to like pay attention to what time it is so i can try to go to bed at a reasonable time because i just have so much fun here like the between the wolves just constantly coming out here and just being like i got a wolf boom I got a wolf. A boo. No? Man. Can't predict you. One shot. Oh my god. <gasps> it wasn't as high level as I thought. Normally it's a one shot kill to the face. I'm very inaccurate today. <laughs> um, But I did want to show you the adventures of what we have done. We did it. We had like on the right way here. I didn't get everything recorded. But I recorded some really insane moments. A lot of bugginess. Like, this game, it's a month in right now, and I honestly still can't really... The game's fun if you love ARK. I can suggest it to you, and you can handle the bugs and the constant changes and everything that's happening. But, I mean, as a new player, I can't suggest it. Uh, it is just simply... There's no land claims. We've been over an insane amount of land already, and everything is filled to the brink. Some companies have an entire island to themselves in the tundra. So, I mean, it's like, it's... <laughs> Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. So if you're a new player, then you don't have anywhere to build. So let's like I'm saying, starting off from the bat, I'd have a hard time suggesting this game to a brand new player, unless you have a company you're moving into. Um, as far as here though, the stuff, the resources we can get here, uh, there is wet wooden roots for wooden thatch, and then the stone is sandstone and basalt, and then there is crystal all over the place. Oh, that's basalt. What is it? Oh, there's metal all over the place. We have cobalt here, but we also have something that we had not seen before: tin. And tin is crazy cheap to turn to alloy. So this is that's great to have that here. And then where is it? There's like some other resources. Oh, killing penguins gets you oil. It gets you blubber. So there's a whole new form of oil we had. All we had before was fish oil. Get blubber from killing the penguins. And that would be that was the second one, so we can make green guns with that. But at the same time, this place also has these luck lovely, lovely little oil nodes all over the place. I'm watching that wolf over. Why did that wolf die? Like, I'm watching that wolf over there, and all of a sudden the wolf died. There was an alpha seagull. I bet that was the alpha seagull. But this gives us naphtha. So it's a whole other kind of oil. So that's three. So we can make blue guns now, which is awesome. And there was a place I found with mineral oil a long time ago, but I don't remember where the heck it was. I think it was a lot closer to us. Maybe equatorial or something? I'm not sure. But that was a fourth one, so we could actually even get even higher. But right now we only have blue gun blueprints. Um, I am trying to grow stuff here. I didn't think anything would grow in the polar. There's no plants here. See, there's no fiber here. Like, somebody had said that in comments. They, you're dead right. There is no fiber in the Arctic. I actually made... There's, see, there's three boats here because I brought one boat here after the first boat came. And that was some of the video that'll be in a minute. Um, I'm basically going to save it towards the end. I just want to give you the resources that are here first and everything else. But, uh, yeah, that boat, I ended up bringing 40,000 fiber here. And then Victor ended up bringing the Arbiter here, his new brig not too long ago because of the exact same thing just fiber it's insane amounts of fiber uh we already tamed up a penguin and oh god i'm good i'm good here with this armor on this armor is amazing it's just green armor and for the most part even as long as i'm not underwater i'm not freezing there are some nights where it gets a little cold but for the most part it's not too bad we tamed up a wolf but with this last patch the wolf health and everything else is like holy crap my wolf at home was 700 and went down to like 300 i was like uh excuse me <laughs> but we did tame up two penguins because they're super easy you literally just shoot them with a bow hit them with a bola and just feed them fish meat so it was it was really quick and easy and then we tamed up two crows which i don't think i ever got recorded but i think i did have the bird box recorded in one of the videos that we, we basically just went to a temperate island built a little box on his boat over there and proceeded to whoa he's a lot of storage boxes i didn't see those before but proceeded to uh just drag it into the little box and just tame it in there like i did with the penguin or parrots and seagull so again it wasn't like this, the taming is 
pretty basic and simple. It's a pain in the butt on the big things like elephants and stuff. But otherwise, yeah, this is our base we have right now. Nice little place in here. We have everything that we need pretty much. I'm the only person on the server, <laughs> which is insane. Um, it's like most of the time we've been the only people here. There's one group of people that was here and were here, and I had, I had a great conversation with them. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But there's like little rooms here that like have store stuff in. We have a uh, third floor, which I, I enjoy. Oh, and he did do it. I actually did not. Uh, I was not here to finish this because I had to go to bed. I need, like I said, trying to be more uh, more conscious about what I'm doing. Oh, that's right. We had talked about putting the railings up and thought that would be cool. And then, yeah, there's a nice little table up here with some chairs. But over here, I'm growing, because you can't grow a garden boat anymore, I'm growing uh, potatoes. And I didn't fertilize you. Right there. Edible green seeds, which I'd only found in, like, the temperate zone on the way up here. But potato seeds I found in the temperate zone up here too, so figured why not? Let's do it. <laughs> but yeah, that's this is this is the base that we've gotten so far. I mean, it, it's it's a long trek, but the fact that we can just make tin alloy here because it's just thatch and wood. We're just gonna make up a crap ton of alloy, load up the boats, and go back. Right now, my boat is already loaded with insane amounts of oil. Like I got, I, I stuck around killing a ton of penguins, got a lot of blubber. It still was only 500. But the other oil gathering, all this naphtha and everything, naphtha, it, I got like stacks and stacks on the boat to take back. It's going to be fun though because there's whales in here and, oh yeah, you'll see that in just a second. But I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm just going to put in the rest of it, so thank you for watching it. Enjoy this uh, buggy insanity and nonstop hilarity that just kept happening to us. It was, it was fun. I've literally just had nonstop fun the past couple days in this game. I haven't been able to play a lot today because it, just, it finally hit me like a brick, but yeah. Yeah, here's here's all the insanity. What wall? What is this? What is this? I'm inside of a mountain right now. We are inside of a mountain, dude. You're not hitting anything? We just no. like escaped through a mountain. How are you not seeing that? I rec I'm recording this right now. I'm gonna throw this in the next video. So yeah, if you guys are seeing this, it's just because I don't understand what just happened there. We just went into that mountain back behind me. He doesn't even see the mountain. But I just saw the mountain. I'm just like, you're gonna hit the no. mountain. You're gonna hit the mountain. You're gonna hit the mountain. It was really, don't turn around. Why are you going into the mountain? Uh, How do you not? So is there no land near you right now? No, the closest land I see is. Oh God. There is a massive mountain to our left side. Yeah. To our left side. Yeah. Looks like a big nose poking out of the ground. Wait, to the left side? Yeah. No, the closest land I see is. Oh God, probably. I don't understand. This is weird. This yeah. is one of those moments. Yeah. To the right side. Wait, to the left side? No. I mean, there's a big mountain. There's an island over there. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. You don't see this the island on our left? No. Holy crap. Well, How do you know? That's so weird. What looks like it's a totally an island to our left. Poking out of the ground to the right side. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna die faster this way. I'm already dying. Yeah. How do you not go? How is that? No. <laughs> what? I mean, we just drove through a fracking island. How do you do? I don't understand. <laughs> what is happening? Oh shit! I got left behind. No. I'm going to the island, doesn't matter. Leave so me behind. Right now. Where are you? Really I'm going to the island. <laughs> <laughs> the island you apparently can't see. I don't understand. I mean, it's so gigantic, dude. Like, I it's a freaking gigantic island. I know, it's so weird. And we went through a rock. I don't understand uh -oh. how we went through a rock. <laughs> Where are you? This is, this is probably one of the what most island? broken moments of this game I have experienced so far. It really is. Uh... Like I literally, I'm just like straight freaking out. Like how, how, dude, dude, we're gonna smash into this rock, and you just went through the rock. I, I'm swimming through the rock right now. I'm literally swimming through the rock right now. It really is. I don't understand what is I happening. Can't even, there is I can't floats even see in here. You anymore. I'm gonna grab this floatsome because I can. So wait, that means I can't even jump on. No, I'm no, oh, I'm standing on it for a second. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I no, because I don't. I don't know what's happening. This is official servers, official PVE. Yeah, cause I... This is what's happening. This is what um, is happening. I don't know. 
So this is going to be a video. What's up? What's crackling, everybody? I'm Real Master. Welcome to Atlas. This is going to be. I'm just going to do an intro later on, to be honest. I'm just going to edit this because this is weird. This is weird. I don't even know. I'm going to get murdered by a shark that's coming through the wall now, too. So that's the thing. I think so. I lost a big chunk of life all of a sudden. Ah! No, a boat just squished me. That's how I'm dead. I'm inside the boat. I don't. I don't. I'm inside the boat. I see you. I'm inside the boat. I'm inside the boat. I don't. I don't. I don't I'm dead. In a bad way. This has been a trip of just bugs. Oh my god. I'm not. I'm not. I'm waiting. <laughs> we tamed crows. We tamed crows up here, on this boat. Yeah. No. This. This, land this is, is There's a, a bird box on the boat. <laughs> That's where we taped it in. We just taped it on the boat. It was amazing. But here's a glitchy bit that just started things. This is just a journey, kind of like a just random things that happen. Because there is no specific goal in mind other than just to see if maybe there happens to be some sort of region that hasn't, like some little tiny piece of land that hasn't been claimed. <laughs> so far, it's a big no. So, yeah. Um... Uh, huh. But yeah, we've just been exploring, getting discoveries. Horrible. Like smash! I wish I would have started recording before I'd freaking <laughs> be smashed into that wall. Like I'm just like, like legitimately just like, oh god, I was terrified. I thought our boat was gonna explode. I'm just sitting here like crunched up on my actual like my actual arms and everything, like waiting for the explosion to happen. <laughs> you put this. You put it down. Anchors down. I have a present for you. You want fish meat? <laughs> oh, yes. I have a, a manta ray. Is it a dead manta ray? It is a dead manta ray. <laughs> I don't have a pick, and if I let it go, it's going to deteriorate. But as long as I hold it, it stays alive for like 50 minutes. Uh, yes. Oh, no. 12 minutes. Is it a dead manta ray? Thirty-six seconds if I drop it. Right off the boat. Okay, give me a second. The moving manta dead uh, manta ray on the <laughs> on the beach. Where are you at? direction entirely I, I was like you're gonna go to pick it once you're gonna hit me and kill me <laughs> that's what i thought was gonna happen oh my god all right <laughs> uh, i don't think i've ever done that in my life where i've clapped just because it was so amazing like the timing of it and everything like <laughs> the name of the island the uh, name of the island is big sack isle so we are in the arctic i'm gonna die a lot here it's just something that i'm accepting right now i'm gonna do this um Get on this place. Yeah, this place is a nightmare. Without getting absolute nightmare. You... That's one way to do it. All right, you do that. And I'm gonna sit here on this in case it survives and it chases it comes at the, the boat. What's the name of it? No, nope, you gotta shoot up farther. All right, you know what? I'm gonna die anyways. I'm gonna sacrifice myself for the cause. I'll pull it into one spot. Just shoot at me. Shoot at me now! Turn, turn around. Come back down. Do it. Shoot the shooting. <laughs> Good lord. All right, we got it. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's go check it out. It? Let's go see what's up. I would probably not wear your fur armor, though. Okay. And just expect it to. Can you not put another boat on the bed yet? A boat on the bed. Yep, I said it correct. Yes, you did. Use a bola and then feed. What? The freaking penguins. Uh, I have a bunch of bolas on the Okay. Bed. I don't know if I'm gonna survive long enough. Uh, I have a bunch of bolas left on the boat. Hold up. 
hang out. Oh, stealing territory. Hey, so that uh, the claim flag here is neutral. We can build. I mean, if I can, that means it's been here for a very long time. Yeah, yeah right is. over here, I think, we'll be inside both of them. Yeah. Yeah, right in the middle, like right there. Okay. I mean, I honestly, even like anywhere in this little area, will cover both of them. So between this Inside one and, both circles. and the one you put up, we should be good, right? Oh God, this whole distance! No, I refuse. Oh my God, that is so gigantic, whale! What is it? Why does it want us? This is a nightmare. I just want to eat my food. And this is what we're traveling through. Do you see this? What is happening? The whale's there too? Oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, no. You stay away from us, whale. <laughs> we are hauling right now. I think we're going the right way. So we're trying to get it down to the Arctic is where we were going. I figured I would just quickly hit the record button real fast while we're experiencing this whale. Like what? I don't even know. I don't even know. That whale is like right on us. Is that a ship again? No. It's Bob the Strong. That whale wants us. Oh my god, there's another whale! On the other, we just entered a new zone and there's a new whale. What is floating? Is that a sunken ship? Oh my god. <laughs> the chat scroll is the best I've seen. Oh man. So yeah, that about ends the crazy antics that happened. Um, the second day I didn't get a lot recorded just because that's when I started feeling bad. And he... Victor came over, luckily, to help me out because <laughs> I was I was so hungry. It was one of the problems too that I just I just needed to eat some food. I was eating food, and that's when everything went down. So I just hit record, and um, the the whole glitchiness thing that was just I mean we've been sailing for a while, so the audio was a little weird. Apologies, uh, but there is a massive change that just happened. Just happened as I was doing the edit of this, and I wanted to point it out. Like this is one of the reasons what I'm talking about. Like not suggesting to new players because they made a big change to stone structures. Stone structures now cost organic paste and metal. 35 metal. Doesn't matter what thing it is. Doesn't matter what part it is. Then I guess technically walls are 32. They're 3 less. <laughs> but this is this is crazy. Like, it only takes 1 metal, but still takes 20 organic paste. So no matter what, it's 20 organic paste it looks like. That's That's crazy. That is like flipping crazy because I mean if you're here there is no sap there's no sap supposedly there's coral off the coast but I mean it's freaking it's 30 degrees now Ooh, maybe I will go look real quick I tried putting a diving suit on there and I was gonna dive down and I was just gonna be like oh here it is but um, there's none down there so I don't know exactly where it's supposed to be at I do have edible greens and potatoes growing here, so that's cool. I'm going to just try to stock up on a crap ton of potatoes and bring them back, even though I don't really need to because I could just dig those up. And that's how I've been dealing with the cooked foods up till now, is digging them up. Oh, but yeah, yeah, stone structures are... I don't know what they're thinking on that. The, the, the metal alone is kind of like there's... Where's the metal at? Where's this metal that you speak of? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like, what? But the, the, the organic paste... I get where the concept of, like, you know, you need paste to put the bricks together comes from, but good lord. I just... Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then they made it so stone structures are weaker on PvP, I guess, so basically eight cannonballs will destroy a stone, a stone wall area. So that's another thing that I'm sure people are just oh so happy about about the Mega Tribes. Just, it just makes Mega Tribes even more powerful than that. I don't know PvP too much, so I can't really make too many comments as to what happens with those patches, but 
yeah, I've, I'm still enjoying the game. I just think that some of the changes they do are... I don't understand the logic behind them, and it just just doesn't make sense. I mean, I, I yeah, I just don't get it. Stone structure thing, like that's... We're going to hardly be building out of stone at this point anymore. What the problem is, the only thing that prevents any animals from destroying your stuff is stone. So now it's just either like, hey, we want the game to be not too grindy. We want you to have fun. We want it to be a pirate game. Here's some more, even more insane grind we have to add to it. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, nonetheless, I love this place. I'm just, wolves, wolves, there's always wolves. You step out the door, there's two wolves half the time. Um, I'm, okay, yeah, you know what? Let's real quick before we end it. 36 degrees. I'm going to go check. I checked over here, so I know there's nothing in here. But I'm going to check a little further down the coast, right over here in the water. Maybe we can find something. I'm not even cold right now. My guess is when I'm swimming in the water on the surface, I'll probably be fine. Yeah, I'm just cold. So if we dive down, I am freezing to death. But if I make the journey quick, maybe we will be good. I'm not sure. I have a light on, so if it gets dark down here, we should be good. It is daytime now. There's a shark right there. That's fun times. No! I just took out one of you when I tried diving before. You're weaker, though. There's a turtle right there. You want to keep coming at me? Really? You're crazy. Oh, I thought it was going to beach itself. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What the hell? And this is another reason why I can't suggest it, because this is a constant thing that happens. Like, <sighs> I may lose all my stuff. Okay, so luckily I come back in and I'm standing on the rock. That's good. That's good. Good God. Oh, you gotta love the... We're gonna just drop a patch on you. But, <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna go searching for coral right now, because, yeah. I, I'm just... just I'm, I don't know what's happening. It's like the second or third patch in the past, like, 15 minutes. It's super unsettling. Do not want to be underwater and lose all this fur gear, because it's... It's good gear, and I used all the blueprints to make all the fur gear for everybody. Um, but yeah, I mean, this game, this this game, this place, this place has been nonstop fun. I've enjoyed it, but the game is still, they still got issues. They still got kinks to work out of this thing. It's, it's, uh, it's just like Ark, I mean. And that's the problem at this point. I feel like it's they, they want a pirate game, but they, they make the grind so full up and real that you lose out on some of the pirate aspects because you're just seriously like we, you spend days grinding for stuff and I mean even with this weekend like we grinded out an insane amount of stuff filled boxes just so we could simply have uh, what did I just whistle for no oh god oh god I whistled fall the wall we good you guys didn't jump off the boats right I think they didn't I think they're fine yeah you guys are good how about the other wolf? You good? Yep, everybody's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to end it here for now. So thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video. I kind of want my next goal to be... I want to try to go to the Ruins Island with that catapult boat. Or possibly just go there and try to tame one of those sh shecklebacks or whatever they're called. Shatterbacks? I don't remember. But I want to try one of the din that dinosaur thing I saw. There was a couple places I saw on the coast where you could probably get in there pretty easily without having to deal with too many cyclopses. I don't know what else is there, though. So it'll probably be multiple people. Ideally, I don't want to go there by myself. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.